Hey everybody, um, another beautiful week here at uh, the house. It is a little chilly, um, we are in the 40s, so trying to run the heat a little bit so I don't freeze. What we're gonna do this week here is in the, in the living room, remove the plaster and I hope to get the last areas of trim removed. to show you some of the interesting things that we found at the house the other day uh, that Emmanuel found. I um, haven't been over there and today I know Emmanuel, Emmanuel is over there working and I'm on uh, my own here looking after our little one. But um, I thought it would be fun to surprise Emmanuel and show you all some of this. So I think it's really interesting and uh, someone asked about what we found uh, the other day so I wanted to show you. Alright so there was some little odds and ends that um, were like little coupons for different things and there was, oh, let me get it in focus for you, there was some different letters and postcards that were kind of cool. Um, I don't think I would call it a love letter, but it kind of sounds like there was some romantic interest. But the postcards look like they go from this one, it's 1952, a little bit more recent. And these ones over here, right here, um, are dated from what I could read, they're really hard to read but the date I could read said 1909. And there was a little ticket that goes to a safe deposit box, I think a safe deposit box. So um, I'm sure we won't have any chance of getting into that. There were some old photographs. This one, I don't know how old it is. There wasn't a date on it. Um, this one looks pretty old. You can tell the eyes um, are a little bit strange the way those photographs are taken. You can see why people get um, a feeling of uh, some supernatural or something in those pictures. Uh, this is cool. It's a calendar from 1920 and uh, it goes through, I don't know, January is not there. It starts in February, but they have like inspirational sayings on it. And this one says here, success depends not upon luck, but upon pluck. So some funny things. There's the other postcard. This looks like, it's hard to see, it's really dirty, but um, looks like some kind of a camp photo or something. And on the back it has some names of the people, but it's just first names. So there you go. So I don't know, but I might be inspired to do a little time capsule or something in the new house. We'll see.
Here's another shot of our views. This is from the bathroom in the first floor. Um, so you can see obviously great views down to the river and downtown that is next right next to um, the river down there, River James. So what am I doing here the next couple of weeks? I'll probably get this bathroom ready in the first floor so that, um, or at least plumbing done so that we can put a sink and a toilet in here as my dad is in town and will help up, help clean up the entire place, um, get the, get everything moved into a dumpster and stuff. So to, just to get, be ready for him, uh, we just need to have a functioning bathroom. I have been asked a little bit about uh, the opening up in the kitchen dining room area. We're gonna take out this entire wall on this side here and then over here um, in between the doors, this door here on the left and then the door here a little further in front of the cabinet. Um, we want to remove this entire part, a section of this wall and put a beam on the top so that uh, we have a little bit of more of an open concept feel, look and feel, you can see um, looking through that door, you can already see the the railing of our stairs, so we want to open this up a little bit. Sorry again for a short video this week, um, but we just have lots of stuff going on and thanks again for watching this week. Bye!